developments tonight in the death of eight week old baby Chance Walsh. We're learning his mother will spend the next quarter of a century in prison for failing to protect her son. Chance disappeared in September, his mother eventually leading police to his body. Our reporter Jacqueline Glace is live now from Northport. Jackie Chance's mother has lost more than her freedom. She has now lost the support of her family. Laura, she absolutely has, and let me show you one of the reasons why. Directly here behind me in this wooded area, you can see piles of garbage. There are condoms, beer cans, cigarette butts, and it was just over here that Kirsten Berry decided that she was going to bury her son. It is this complete disregard for life that led to her mother publicly disowning her in court today. By watching him decompose, she showed a total disregard for life. And that day she helped bury him amongst garbage in the shallow grave of a homeless camp with nothing more than the diaper, as if his life had no value. In court this morning, a whimpering Christian Burry could not face the woman who brought her into this world, publicly disowning her. I hope she enjoys her new life. The 32-year-old will spend the next 25 years in prison. Her husband, Joseph Walsh, is accused of beating their eight-week-old son, Chance, to death last September. Prosecutors say Barry watched the murder and did nothing to protect Chance during the gruesome attack, which included having a baby wipe jammed down his throat. Baby Chance would be left to decompose in his crib before he was buried in this wooded area in Northport. My heart is forever broken. For Sally Susino, this is the third grandchild she's lost. Not only did Barry have another baby die of natural causes, we learned Barry had a third child. But no one knows where that little boy is. You did have him adopted, unfortunately, to a complete stranger in exchange for a car, pocket money. Barry's mother explained her daughter grew up in a loving home, but chose drugs and abusive relationships over doing what was right, and feels her daughter deserves a harsher punishment. Mother's supposed to protect her child at all costs, and that wasn't done. As part of this plea deal, Barry has agreed to truthfully testify against her husband in the future. Now, should she go back on that and not do that, this plea deal becomes null and void, and she could face more charges. Now, as of tonight, Joseph Walsh is still awaiting a date to be set for his trial. Live in Northport, Jacqueline Glace, ABC Action News.